landmark changes have uh, you know you noticed in the film industry over the years or you know what you've not noticed before your time so how would you summarize this well you know i actually uh, started very young with films because uh, my father was in the business since uh, i think the early 1950s maybe 50 51 and um, my father came to bombay in 47 and uh, i was born in 55 so i'm 47 i'm going to be 47 in july so i think i first went to the studios i can recall when i was 4 years and i saw the lights and the cameras it was a way of life because my father was a distributor and the film business was very exciting back then i mean in the black and white days my god it was really throbbing uh it was very professional the quantity of films i'm not sure but the quantity of films was not that high and uh, you kind of um, had a different you had different schools of filmmakers and the script level work was also uh the audiences were different uh, what i find is mostly what has happened in indian films apart from world cinema is that we've ended up making musical films and whenever we talk about crossing over crossing over to hollywood or to the west or a main line bollywood film showing up in a main theater in the uk or the usa or in australia for the white or the audiences that live in that country uh, is actually still a far way off uh, it can happen with one film i don't say that it could happen to a film or two but as a general rule it's going to be many years if at all that happens because our cultures are different um, the way we treat the screenplay and the the films and the way we space out the music uh, is not something that's going to be acceptable so one thing that hasn't changed is the music the changes that have happened are many uh, obviously we moved from black and white to color and then ever since in the last 10 years there's been a lot of technological developments the cameras keep changing the lenses keep improving the kodak and the fuji negative also uh, you know they keep improving the negative around the world so you're shooting with better equipment better cranes uh, better trolleys better dollies and we now have a digital technology within the film whereas you can take a shot take the negative put it on a hard disk play around with your frames or your sequences do your effects in whichever way you want imagine anything and put it back on film now this was done optically earlier on and people were scared even if you had to do dissolves or if you had to do little effects yeah, so what actually happened in the last couple of years is the digital technology where we we looking at today if you want to do titles you know you can Uh, do it digitally and everybody is doing that right to your effects you could be doing action sequences using the technology in songs and you can play around with your imagination and put it on celluloid uh which obviously gives you a lot of freedom to the director but at the same time it's very expensive though the cost keeps coming down but it's still very expensive and um, with the budget restrictions i think in india we have a problem trying to cope up with the kind of quality uh, that is there in the american films because the american films have a far better budget they have a shorter running time and uh, a huge budget and obviously and i think they are better planned and uh, more with it uh, at the same time with the quality of indian films when you look at it and the budgets we are working at and the kind of conditions we are, we are in and if you show somebody a film uh, a good quality film i mean it's astounding to do it at that price and i don't think anybody in the world can actually pull off the kind of films that are being made in bollywood at the budgets i am even talking about the low budget films uh you know at 2 crores of 3 or 4 or 5 uh and uh, and you know have audiences watching them the important thing obviously in cinema is the survival is the audience you catering to an audience and whether they are coming into the theaters and uh patronizing the films and that's what happened in america the us obviously has a huge film audience and so does india and it's actually boiled down to these two countries 
I mean, you see very little film activity around the world. So it's the US, Hollywood versus the Bollywood. And we are opposites in many ways. One of them is the budget. One of them is the culture. It's, they're not the same kind of films. But I feel that it's best to stick with what it is, what the audience wants. You can't be seeing American films and saying, we want to make that or let's do that because they have a different life. They have a different background, upbringing, a different history. And we have, we're dealing with a different audience. You know, so the, it, the change obviously has not come around. We're still dealing with the audience. So there hasn't been a change like we're making films in English or now we're sort of, okay, they say we're doing, we're catering films to NRIs. But the NRIs are more Indians than the Indians here. So finally, it's a good thing that we stick within our culture. We, we make films for the Indians, for the entertainment of Indians, and we have values in the films. Uh, which is very nice. It's been a great survival and I think it's very creditable for India and for people who are making films in Bollywood and in the South. Uh, you cannot obviously ignore the South. It's a huge industry there. And as a nation that has actually emerged to be one of the strongest and uh, the most profound sort of filmmaking nations in the world, uh, obviously they talk about the quantity of films. Nobody is really saying quality, but you go anywhere in the world and you say Bollywood, you go to Spain, you go to Argentina, you go to Africa, Australia, they all know what is Bollywood, that they are making films there, they're making a great number of films there. Nobody says we are making bad films. People actually don't care. You know, they, nobody is really interested in how much money you spend on the film. A good film is a script and how well you execute it. Uh, money is important, but beyond that, you obviously can make a film at a at a low cost and really get audiences and say, you know, that wow, what a film. So I think there's a lot of uh, activity that is happening in India at the moment and it's a struggle because the filmmakers are fighting piracy, they're fighting satellite, television, cable, etc., etc., and surviving. And uh, in the States, obviously, it's all very legal. You can't get away with what you get away with in India. Uh, and I think it's been a great survival. I see a great future for the films because there's a great audience. If you don't have an audience, you don't have a future. As long as the people are interested in watching films and they star worship and they like whatever, the directors or the actors or the heroines and the producers are known, uh, you're going to be in business and the films are going to carry on being made. There's obviously going to be a lot of hue and cry. 100 films came out, didn't do well, this, that and the other. It's part of the business cycle. It's part of what you're in. It's part of the nature of the business. You have your ups and downs. At the moment, it's a down. But you see, everything that goes down comes up. So you're looking at a bright future. And uh, I think most people who are in the business aren't going to leave it. They're going to stick with it because you never know when it's going to swing around. And what's going to happen in the future, we don't know. But as of today, uh, I think uh, it's very creditable. We have some great directors. Uh, we have films that look international standard uh, and um, great sound, great, great picture quality, fabulous acting and um, what more do you want? What more? And you know, good music and we catering. The music comes out through a film, you know, for the radios or the FM and most of the sales that used to happen uh, were happening through a film. The music sort of what the people used to listen to music. So the entire music uh, that people were listening to was something that was emerging from within a film, which is still happening. So we have a great uh, sort of a, uh, future here with the music because we, I think Indians are very musical and people want to listen to music. I mean, we don't have great tracks happening in films now, but there's these remixes and all kinds of things and you go out to bars or discos and you find that they're playing these old songs that have been, you know, kind of uh, repackaged and it is still a lot of it is still film music and there's a lot of other good music as well. Uh, I'm not trying to say that the private albums aren't good but the films do cater to the needs of a musical man as well apart from just watching a film. So there's a lot I think uh, we uh, in the films I think what has to be really underlined here is uh, which the government obviously realizes that once uh, we get 
the theatres right and we get the piracy off, we're going to have a lot more people coming into the theatres and a lot more earnings for the government, uh, which I think is untapped. I mean, people don't have a clue how much the films on the whole can earn and are not earning. And that's one of the struggle the film industry is going through at the moment, is there's a billion people watching a Hindi film, but where's the money? So, you know, the business is all scattered. It, it all has to get organized and it has to be done hand in hand, uh, you know, with the government.